We also want to say a happy Memorial Day to those of you that are watching us and a happy birthday to one of our church members here, Ms. Francis. Happy birthday, Ms. Francis. So we just want to welcome you to uh, New Beginnings Church here in Marfa, Texas. And we invite you to come join us and be ready to receive God has something for us. Amen. Amen. And we're going to be celebrating. It's going to be a memorial service uh, celebration. Amen. Message. So you get yourself ready. Amen. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, and he wants to change you. He yeah. wants to change us. You know, when I went military the first time, there were some changes. <laughs> Hair came off. <laughs> <laughs> All my clothes came off. They gave me a new uniform, amen. So I got a uniform, amen. I, I'm, I'm retired military. I just want you to know I'm proud. And uh, I enjoy wearing my uniform, amen. So praise God. I love my country. Uh, I love my family. And uh, I love my church, amen. So praise God. And uh, God has great things for us, amen. Yes, he does. So praise God. So welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, amen. Yeah. The church you can call home. Yes. Praise God. So grab your sword, grab your Bible. Yeah. And uh, say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. This yes, is my Bible. Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind's alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That was that was awesome. Yes, it was. So get yourselves ready. Amen. Get yourselves ready. Happy Memorial Day 2018, amen. I'm just going to give you a little history and then we can get into our message, amen. But yeah. back in April of 1863 uh, in Columbus, Mississippi, oh, boy. this mother had lost two sons and she went and decorated their, their, their gravesite. And there was two other graves off to the side. Nobody had done anything to them. Maybe just piles of dirt over there. So she, you know, her sons had served in the in, in the in the in the southern in the south, and uh, they were Confederates. And still, well, of course, we know the North was fighting the South. And she saw two 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 piles over there, two grave sites. Nobody's touching them. Mm. So she walks over there as a mother, honoring her two sons. She walks over there and she decorates those grave sites. She puts some flowers there, and. Uh, People walk all around her and came to her and shout at her and, and says, wait a minute, stop. What are you doing? You're decorating some northern uh, uh, grave sites. Hmm. She says, I know. She says, but as a mother, I know that in the north, there's some mothers, there's some spouses that are missing them and they're grieving right now. They're, they're, they're hurting right now. Hmm. So I just want to decorate them for them. Amen. Yeah. So just know. Woo, hallelujah. You know, it was uh, Americans fighting Americans. Mm -hmm. And north against the south. I mean, that was whatever. Still, the mother says so softly, softly, softly. This compassionate mother says, I know, I also know that somewhere in the north, a mother or a young wife mourns for them as we do yes. for ours. Amen. Amen. And you know, when there's battle, when there's war, we come together. Yeah. And we need to come together, amen, because we're yeah. fighting one enemy. Yes. As a body of Christ, we fight one enemy. His amen. name is Satan. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not your brother, not your sister, mm -hmm. not those uh, around you or behind That's you. Right. It's Satan. So we need to attack the problem, okay? The Bible says God hates sin, not sinners. Amen. amen. We need to do the same thing. Yes. It's the sin problem. It's the sin he hates, not the sinner. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world, he sent Jesus. Amen. And we're going to be talking about that in a few minutes. That love and deed set in motion our celebration, which mm -hmm. has become known as Memorial Day. So we honor the dead once a year, but their sacrifice is noticeable every day of the year. Amen. Yes. Don't forget. Blessings to you. Mm -hmm. So today we honor and remember all, and I thank you for all our men and women who have given yes. their lives. Amen. In serving our country. Mm -hmm. Grateful for their commitment. And to defend and protect friends, their military brothers and sisters in the front line, yes. their loved ones back home, mm -hmm. even at the ultimate cost for dying. Yes. Amen. For dying. We honor them and remember their sacrifice. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Their dedication and courage mm -hmm. is appreciated not just on Memorial Day, but each day. We also yes. honor all our veterans 
who yes. have served and those that are still serving. We yes. want to say thank you. Amen. We love you and we're praying for you. Amen. Amen. We're a praying church. Yes. Thank and we you. pray for our military. We pray for our veterans. Amen. Hallelujah. We also want to remember and pray for those that are left behind. The mothers, the fathers, the spouses, the children, the brothers Amen. and the sisters. Yes. Amen. They have a big part to play as well. Yes. Again, this affects everyone. Yes, if you have family or friends yes. or know of someone that has given their lives or served or are serving uh, for our freedom, we want to say thank you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Sometimes we pick and choose a favorite holiday, I hope. If you've never uh, celebrated uh, Memorial Day, I ask that you do. Praise God. We could not enjoy this freedom and be a symbol here today without their sacrifice. Amen. That's right. So we want to say we honor you, we thank you, we salute you, and we say you are not forgotten. Amen. Amen. Right. You're not forgotten. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God, praise God, praise God. I just gave a great uh, introduction to Memorial Day. You want to come up, brother? Or, no, you're fine. Or I'm fine, okay. <laughs> I may say a few words to get through. <laughs> <laughs> I want to read you some scripture and you can mark them down and you can uh, read them later on. Uh, <clears throat> Jesus, uh, uh, excuse me, John, take those out and read them. Read them. John 15, uh, verses uh, 12 through 18, goes like this. This is what I command you. Love each other as I have loved you. Yes. And verse 13 is one of our texts. The greatest love people can show is to die for their friends. Huh. Yeah. Hallelujah. Verse 14, you are my friends. If you do, then I tell you uh, to do what to do. Mm -hmm. I no longer call you servants because servants do not know what their master is doing. Mm -hmm. But I call you friends because I have told you everything that my father told me. Amen. <laughs> Verse 16. You did not choose me. I choose you. Amen. I gave. And I gave you this work. Amen. So um, I think uh, we have handouts. And if you have your handout, just pass them out there, Miss uh, Jesse. If you have your handouts, now is a good time to read it. Amen. He has given us this word. Let me finish uh, the, the, the scripture. To go and produce fruit, fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you anything you ask for in my name. And 17 says, this is my commandment, that you love each other. A command, <laughs> a command is not a suggestion. That's right. A command is not something that, well, if I feel like it. Uh -huh. A command is something you have to yeah. do. Amen. And verse 18 says, If the world hates you, remember, they hated me first. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. Amen. He says, If they hate you, they hated me first. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, one of our texts is going to be John 3.16. So, anyway, before we go there, I want you to read this, hang it up, learn it, and know that your calling is by Him. Jesus, amen. What does it say? Let's read it together. I am blessed, blessed chosen, adopted, accepted, redeemed, and forgiven. Hallelujah. Okay. Don't go around calling yourself things that you're not. Because you can have what you say. Don't go around sowing bad seed. Go around confessing good seed. Amen. This is the seed that you want to sow. This is a seed that we got to get in us so we can grow. I am blessed. I am chosen. I am adopted. I am accepted. I'm redeemed. I'm forgiven. Yes. If you start listening to the world, you start listening to, to what you've been told, these negative things, that's why it's so important we renew our minds to the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Because you go around saying, well, I'm no good. I'm nobody. I'll never amount to anything Hallelujah. or whatever you've been told. It's time to get our memories uh, uh, renewed and start feeding the Word of God into ourselves so that we can start producing good fruit. Amen. God fruit. <laughs> Praise God. That's, that was good. Amen. So John 3.16. Let's go to John 3.16. Open your Bibles. Go to the book of John 3.16. Of course, we all know it, but you know what? As we read it, the Lord's going to 
open it up to you even Amen. more all the time. Mm -hmm. John 3, 16. Let's read it. It says, For God so loved the world. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, we're going to be talking about Jesus in a few minutes. Hallelujah. John 15, 13 says the greatest love people can show is to die for their friends. Yes. That's our text. <laughs> Jesus' words in his final expression, he says, I express his great love towards his friends, mm -hmm. us. He exchanges life Amen. for our lives. He demonstrated the greatest love, the greatest Amen. act of love for the world Amen. God has ever offered, yes. known. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Lord. First Peter 5, 10, mark these down. Mm -hmm. New Living Translation. In His greatness, God called you to share in His eternal glory yes, by means of Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore, support, and strengthen you. Uh -huh. And he will replace you on a firm foundation. He will place you on a firm foundation. Yes, he will. Amen. So praise God. We salute all our, our military. We salute our veterans. We salute our, all those that have given their lives. Amen. We want to say yeah. thank you. Yes, and amen. I want to talk to you about another great soldier. Huh. <laughs> this great soldier's name is Jesus. Yes. <laughs> amen. Yes. Amen. He stepped into a battlefield one day. He entered the fight knowing that it would cost him everything. Yes, and yes. He bravely won a great victory yes, at a terrible price. He gave his life, not for a nation, but for humanity. Amen. He sacrificed yes. and served and set us free from sin. Yes, and those are captive in sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. So to know Jesus is to honor him. We must honor the Son of God daily, every day is a memorial day as you honor Him. Amen. Amen. So, thank you, Jesus. You know what? <laughs> We're going to get into this, but one day He just left heaven to come and be sacrificed, knowing that He was going to be sacrificed, knowing that He was going to lose His life. Amen. But He came anyway. Oh, he didn't step down, He stepped up. Yes, He did. And that's what we need to do on a daily basis when we know who we serve and who we are mm -hmm. and who's backing us. It's not time to step back. It's not. Yeah, it's yeah. time to step up. Yes. Amen. Step up and say, "Wow, you know what? Jesus did it for me. I'm going to continue mm -hmm. this ministry. I mean, I'm going to continue and do the work of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we are all called to do that. Remember the sacrifice of heaven. Greatest soldier today. Let us remember the man named Jesus. Yes. And the sacrifice he made for us. Yes. I want to share three things. Three great blessings that are made plain through his word. First Timothy 3.16. It is important to know the secret of God like living. Mm -hmm. yes. Which is Christ came to earth as a man. He was pure in his spirit. He was seen by angels. The nation heard about him. Yes. Men everywhere put their trust in him. Yes, it did. <laughs> he was taken up into heaven. These three things you know. First Timothy 3, 6, well, mm -hmm. right. says, may we always remember his appearing. God was manifested in the flesh. Mm -hmm. The great event in human history. God himself stepped out of eternity into time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Came into this world as a human baby. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord. So, Amen. thank you, Mary. Thank you, Joseph. Mm -hmm. His parents. Jesus laid aside his heavenly address like every soldier mm -hmm. who has ever served in the armed forces. Mm -hmm. Leave home. <laughs> Jesus left home, heaven, and came to earth. <laughs> he had lived in a place of perfection, free from sin, pain, suffering, and sorrow. You know, when you say, well, Jesus is putting this uh, sickness on me to teach me something. No. He comes from a place of perfection. He yeah. went back to a place of perfection. Yes. There's no sickness there. That's right. So how can he put these things on you? Mm -hmm. He cannot put something he doesn't have. Amen. So be careful in the things you say. Don't confess negative things. He lived in a place and went back to a place of perfection, free from sin, pain, suffering, and sorrow. He began. He begins in heaven, where he was exalted, honored, and worshipped. This is heaven. 
And then all of a sudden, he comes to earth. <laughs> he comes to earth. He willingly left all that behind yes, he did. and entered this sin-cursed, hate-filled world. Yes. <laughs> he came yeah. to a world where even those who had uh, waited uh, <clears throat> for his appearing would reject him. His own people rejected him. Yes. Yeah. We're waiting on him now. We're going to reject him. You know, when he came into uh, 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 Bethlehem mm -hmm. as a king, and they welcomed him. And a week later, they're crucifying him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Mm. Hallelujah. First John 1 John 1.11 says this. He came to his own people, and even they rejected him. He came to a land where he would be ridiculed, hated, and killed. Yes. Yet, he came anyway. He knew this before he came. Mm -hmm. Before he sends you somewhere, you know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You have to prepare yourself. Feed yourself, your spirit, man, the word of God. You have to renew your mind yeah. with the word of God. And crucify your flesh. And obey what he wants you to do. Yeah. He wants you to go. So you go. And do all things through him. Amen. 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 You can do all things through him who strengthens you. So he came anyway. Our soldiers go to places like this. Mm -hmm. They go anyway for our freedom. We live in a free country. Mm -hmm. The lives they gave for our freedom. Amen. They go to places where they are not liked. Right. Amen. Right. They go to places they are not liked. And you know what? You can travel in this world, in the USA, places where you're not like yes. And it's getting worse and worse. And you know, in 1 Timothy, it tells us it's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Mm -hmm. So we need to be prayed up. Yes. We need to be strengthened. Yes. Amen? Yes. we got to be stirred up on a daily basis, not just once in a while. That's right. If you're not being uh, stirred up, the world's going to have you. The enemy's going to have you. And you know what? You're going to start speaking negative. Yeah, uh -huh. And the enemy's going to come in. You're going to open doors. The enemy's just, just going to flood in. Mm -hmm. And you're going to attract the same old crowd. Mm -hmm. you got to close the doors to those things. Yes, amen. And press on with the things of God. When you feed your spirit, man, the word yeah, of God, and renew your mind with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And crucify the flesh because the yes. flesh wants to drag you back. Yes, it does. Sometimes you got to drag him away, but mm -hmm. he's going to come. Mm -hmm. He's going to come, amen. First John 1. Uh, chapter 1 verses 1 and 14 verse 1 says before the world began the world was there the word was with God and the word was God mm -hmm. and verse 14 says so the word became flesh mm -hmm. and made his home among us yes, it, it was full of unfailing love uh -huh. and faithfulness and we have seen his glory the glory yes. of the father one and only son amen so praise god jesus laid aside his heavenly apparel his clothes when soldiers entered the military i just told you a few minutes ago <laughs> i changed clothes <laughs> now i have a uniform and i gotta wear his uniform and i gotta wear it proper yes mm -hmm. you just don't wear it the way you want to that's right you wear it the way they command you to wear it mm -hmm. then yeah. you have instructions yes. and you have a plan of the day and yeah. you have a uniform of the day Amen. And you wear it. Mm -hmm. You commit it. You sign. You commit it. I will obey. Mm -hmm. I will do. Amen. Oh, so yeah, we yeah. commit to serve Him and we got to dress ourselves yes. with Him. We got to dress ourselves Amen. in the Word. Amen. Amen. And know the Word because the enemy Amen. will come. Yeah. The enemy yeah. will come. He knows the Word. And you know what? He is a full time devil. We need to be full time Christians all the time, uh -huh. not just part time when we feel like it. We know man so the enemy is right. full-time Christians. Mm -hmm. We gotta be full-time just mm -hmm. like him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's yeah. resistant. We gotta do the same thing. So as a soldier enters the military, he sees to wear the same clothes he is wearing as a civilian. He wears the uniform of his nation. When Jesus came into this world, he willingly hid away mm -hmm. his heavenly fame. Mm -hmm. Our soldiers do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Philippians 2, 5 through 8 says this. Think as Christ Jesus thought. Jesus has always been as yeah. God is. But he did not hold to his 
uh, he did not hold to his right as God. He put aside everything that belonged yes. to him and made himself the same as a servant. Yes. Who is owned by someone. He came he became human by being born as a man. Yeah. After he became man, he gave up his important place and obeyed by dying a criminal death on a cross. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes. Matthew 8, 8, 8, 20 says this. Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, mm. birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place mm -hmm. to lay his head. Mm -hmm. Here was Jesus, the creator of the universe, yes. born as a baby in Bethlehem. Where was, <clears throat> here was God, to whom belong the earth yeah. and the fullness thereof, mm -hmm. with no place to lay his head. He was absolutely dependent upon a human mother, the Virgin Mary, and Father Joseph for his necessary foods. Yes. Because Jesus left heaven and came to earth, he knew pain, sufferings, rejection, yes. hunger, thirst, loneliness, yeah. and many other Hallelujah. of the problems that are part of the human condition. He yes. suffered all that he did so that we, so that he might feel our pain and know mm -hmm. how to comfort yes. when our trials come up. Amen. He know he came and served as a yes. man. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, when he felt weak, the Bible says he went and spent time yes. with the Father. With the Amen. Father. <laughs> we yeah. need to do the same thing. Yes, He's showing us. Yeah. When you feel like you can't go anymore, <laughs> go and spend time with him. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, just just be there with him. And yeah. just let him know, Lord, I need help. I need you. I can't succeed without you. I can't continue without you. I need your strength. You know, he knows these things. You just confess it to him. He says to cast all your cares on him because he cares for yes, you. Yes, I don't want you to carry these weights. I don't want you to carry these cares. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Yeah. You know, oh, well, I'll just give you half. Mm -hmm. No, he says, give it all to me. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So he knows what it takes to succeed. Yes, and he yes. wants us to succeed. If he called us, and do what this handout says, then he knows. Yes. I and mean, he's given us everything we need. He didn't forget anything. That's right. All he wants us to do is keep ourselves stirred up, keep ourselves uh, prayed up, mm -hmm. and press on. Amen. And he wants us to press on. He says, Heaven is our home. We're pressing heaven, but we're heaven mm -hmm. bound. Amen. Yes. So Amen. be strong in him. Yes. Bless God. Woo. Hallelujah. Here he is for. 14 and 16 says this. <laughs> if you didn't know, before Jesus left, he served all offices. Mm -hmm. Amen. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher, a high priest. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, Hebrews 4, 5, uh, chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. Jesus Christ is our high priest. Yes. We have a high priest. Who has gone to live with God in heaven. He is Jesus the son of God. So let us continue to express our faith in him. Jesus our high priest is uh -huh. able to understand our weakness. When Jesus lived on earth he was tempted in every way. He yes. was tempted in the same way we are tempted. Yes. But he sinned not. That's right. Don't go to Jesus and say well you don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand what I'm going through. Yeah. You don't know what a punishment I'm going through. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand what he went through. Yeah. Amen. We're talking about this. And when he was beaten, the Bible says he was beaten beyond recognition. Yes. yes. You know, and you know Hollywood makes it look nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. There was nothing like that. That's right. Amen. Yet they couldn't kill him until he surrendered himself to the yes. Father. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. With yes. Christ, with Jesus as our high priest, we can feel free yes. to come before God's throne mm -hmm. where there is grace. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. There we receive mercy and kindness to help us when we need it. Yes. And you know what? We need it on a daily basis. Amen. The Bible says this day the Lord is made. We shall rejoice yes. and be glad in it. Amen. Yes. So we're going to enjoy it. We're going to yes. have fun. No, <laughs> This is a great thing, but I need to in order to feel, mm -hmm. you know, like I can make it. Yes. You know, 
be glad and rejoice in it. Yes. Yes. I don't feel like doing that unless you spend time with him. Mm, because this world is going to bring you down yes. quick. And it ain't going to make you feel like you want to rejoice That's right. or be glad in it. Mm. And you see the problem before you see the day. Mm. This is a beautiful day God has given us. Oh, yes. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Have an attitude of gratitude. Have a winning attitude on a daily basis. Yes. Otherwise, you're just going to see yourself a loser. Mm. Just like the world. You're going to start going that way. Mm. No, see yourself a winner. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews 12, 18 says, And now we can help those who are tempted. He is able to help because he himself suffered and was tempted. Yes, yeah. amen. So don't say... You didn't even go through this. Mm. He went through all these yes, things. Yes, he did. And it says he sinned not. Amen. So you need help. You need strength to go to him. Lord, I need your strength to carry on. Yes. I need your strength, strength to press on. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So 1 Peter 5, uh, 6 through 9 says this. You live in translation. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 through 9. So humble yourselves under the mighty power of God. Yeah. And in his good times, he will honor you. Verse 7 says, Give some all your worries and cares to God, for he Man. cares about what happens to you. <laughs> if, if he didn't care what happened to you, he would have just said, Father, just take me. I don't want to go through this. <laughs> but he didn't. He was an awesome soldier. Verse 8 says, Be careful. Watch out. Your for attacks from the devil. Watch out for attacks from the devil. Your great enemy. Mm -hmm. Your great and only enemy. Yes, that's right. <laughs> he prowls around as a roaring lion looking for some victims to devour. Mm -hmm. So you say, who are these victims? Huh. You know, he ain't trying to take the world. Well, he's got the world. Yeah. But he's trying to take those uh -huh. leaky Christians that are oh, going around yeah. <laughs> leaking negative things, oh, my <laughs> confessing negative yes. things, amen? He wants yeah. to take you back. He wants you back. Mm -hmm. If he lost you, he wants you back. Yeah, amen. 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 He doesn't want you to win. Mm -mm. He wants you to go with him. Yes. So be careful in the things that you say. Be careful when you release your words. Are they mm -hmm. positive or are they negative? Yes. yes. You give power. You make the choice. Mm -hmm. Say, well, you're just going to be like a parrot and repeat everything you hear somebody else say. Mm -hmm. You're so in bad seed. That's in your right. Life, and you don't want that. That's right. Verse 9 says, take a firm stand against him. Stand firm in him. Yeah. I'm standing. <laughs> and be strong in your faith. Yes. The Bible says give no place to the devil. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. If he's been knocking on your door, he's going to continue. And yes. then you tell him, you know, go. Submit yourself to God. Resist uh -huh. him. And he will flee. That's right. And then he'll go. That's James 4, 7. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee. Thank you. Amen. May we always remember his accomplishments. Paul says this. He was justified in the spirit. See yes. of angels. Preach unto the Gentiles, That's believe right. on in the world. Yes. In those four short phrases, Paul tells us about the earthly ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Paul says it like this, remember his perfect service. Mm -hmm. A phrase justified in the spirit and seen by angels Glory speaks of his divine approval that was upon his life and work. Yes, amen. From the amen. time Jesus was baptized in Jordan River and began his earthly ministry, the power of the Holy Ghost was upon his life. Yes. The power of the Holy Spirit, if you never ask the Holy Spirit to come, be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. To have the strength of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To, to be with you. Amen. Amen. To have the Holy Spirit be with you and guide you and protect you. Amen. Be with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Jesus Amen. did all that. He did not. He did not as God, but as a spirit-filled man. Mm -hmm. Amen. He did all that not as God, but as a spirit-filled man. He said, well, you know, he had the power. He He's a, uh, from heaven. He had the spirit. He had all these extra powers. Mm -hmm. No, he did not do it as God. 
or as Jesus, he did as a spirit-filled man. Mm -hmm. He accomplished what Adam had failed to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. The miracles, the powerful teachings, the changed lives, and the statement of God, the Father below. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. <laughs> Praise God. Matthew 3, uh, 17. A voice from heaven says this. This is my son, the one I love. Mm -hmm. The one I am very pleased. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <Amen. Hallelujah. laughs> Praise God. While Peter was talking, a bright cloud came over him. Mm -hmm. A voice came from the cloud says, This is my son, mm -hmm. the one I love. Yes. I am very pleased mm -hmm. with him. Praise says, God. Obey him. Amen. We must do the same thing. Obey the word of God. Yes. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> As we are proud of our sons and daughters that we have. Amen. That have served and given their lives. Mm -hmm. We must, Father is also pleased of his son. Amen. Yeah. Jesus was operating under divine approval of his father. God the Father saw the service and he that he rendered and he was pleased. When Jesus came to this world, mm -hmm. he was born, he lived, and he died without sin. His sacrifice yes. is for our mm -hmm. sins. Mm -hmm. He takes away not only our sin. But the sin of the world. Amen. Yes, amen. So thank you, Jesus. You know. Yes. You think <laughs> it wasn't in vain. That's right. He came. He had opportunities to give up, but yes. he had to spend time with the Father uh -huh. to get the strength that he needed. Amen. Just like us, you know, on a daily yeah. basis. You know, when you see these things come against you, and you think, I can't make it. Mm. You know, we let the problems mm -hmm. get bigger than our God, mm -hmm. and we start confessing the problems. Mm. Right. Our problems are too big for us, mm. you know, and we we start magnifying our problems instead of magnifying our God. Mm -hmm. I say, wait a minute, time out. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind. Yes. Renew yourself. Spend time yeah. with Him and say, Greater is He that sent me. Yes. Lord, <laughs> it is about you, Father. Yes. I trust you. I have faith in you, Father. Amen. Thank you for your strength. Thank, Thank you that we're going to make it. Thank yes. you that I'm going to make it. Yes. Because He is Praise with God. me. Yes. Don't see yourself a loser. See yourself a winner. Amen. Amen. See yourself a champion. Yeah. You know, the greatest hero you can have, role model you can have is Jesus. Yes. Amen. 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 But he says he wants us to go out and do the same thing. Yeah. So don't 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 put yourself down. And don't don't be thinking about yourself and confessing the things the world says about you. Uh-uh. You see yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Right. And say the things the word of God says about you. But yeah. you know, he never talks to me. Yeah. He never talks to me. Well, this is called a Bible. A holy yes. Bible. Amen. Have you ever opened it up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants to talk to you. Yes, he does. He's got all kind of instruction. as a soldier yes. for Jesus. There's a lot of instruction, a lot of information yes. in here yes. that we need just to press on Amen. the things of God. Amen. But he says you can do all things through Christ all who strengthens things. you. Amen. If you're not being strengthened by him, you're being strengthened by the world. Yeah. And you're going to do what the world says if you mm. continue with the world. Mm -hmm. But if you renew your mind, yes. feed your spirit the word of God, Amen. spend time with him, and change the way you talk, mm -hmm. renew your mind with the word of God, yeah. and crucify that flesh, mm -hmm. you're going to start being awesome and fulfilling what God's called you to do. Yes. All those things you have on that handout, you're going to be able to do it. Because he says, I am blessed, chosen, adopted, accepted, redeemed, and, and forgiven. And Nowhere does it say you're a failure. That's right. The world says you're a failure. Mm -hmm. The world says you ain't qualified. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, I have made you to complete. Mm -hmm. He's made us complete. Yes. The world wants you to compete. Mm -hmm. We're not to compete. We're to That's compete right. one another. Amen. Amen. So see Praise yourself God. the way he sees you. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. I, had a, I got so excited, I forgot I had some slides for you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember his perfect sacrifice. Uh, Justifier mm -hmm. in the spirit also speaks about the sacrifice Jesus made for us. Yes. And this is great. You know, he's called us. I don't know why, but we've been talking about this the last few weeks. Bible says, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, mm -hmm. learn to be a servant of yes, all, yes, right. not just some yeah. or those you like. Yeah. Learn to be a servant of all. Amen. And this is one of my best scriptures. You mark this down in Mark 10:45, mm -hmm. 
and Matthew 20, 28. Mark 10, 45 says, For even I, the Son of Man, came here to earth mm -hmm. not to be served, but to serve but others to serve. Amen. and to give my life as a ransom for many. Yes. <laughs> Jesus did not just come to this world to live, but he came to die. Yes. And he came to serve others. Yes, Amen. That was a ransom. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So you know what? If he can do that, so can we. Yes. Yeah, we gotta say yeah. we gotta get busy for 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 him. Yes. And do what he's called us to do. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Praise you, Lord. God. Isaiah Hallelujah. fifty-two fourteen. Let's read that. Isaiah fifty-two fourteen. We just had it open there. Close it back up. Fifty-two fourteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it says, but many were astonished, 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 and then his visage was so marred that many, uh, any man, and his form more than the son of men. Let me read it to you from this translation here. <laughs> But, but that one up pretty good. <laughs> uh, many were amazed when uh -huh. they saw Jesus uh -huh. beaten and bloodied, so disfigured, one would uh, scarcely say he was a person. No boy. Okay, so he was beaten and bloodied, so disfigured. Mm -hmm. One would scarcely say mm -hmm. he was a person. Mm -hmm. But all of his sufferings was for one reason. Mm -hmm. You and I. Yes. He died so that you might have life. Mm -hmm. He endured the cross so yes. that you might be saved. Yes. He showed his blood to redeem you. From, yes. He shed his blood to redeem you mm -hmm. from your sin and to make it possible for you to be saved. All right. Our soldiers may go and never come back alive. Or they may come back with missing parts. Mm -hmm. May come back disfigured. Hallelujah. To start. A new life. Mm. Honor, honor them. Yes. And say thank you when you see them. Yeah. You know, say, well, you know, I never had anybody serve the military. But you know, your freedom yeah. cost them their life. Yeah. Your freedom cost them their limbs yes. or be disfigured. You know, so you just can't say, well, I don't have nobody serve the military, so I don't have to say anything. Oh. Yeah. You can't say something because. Yes. You live in the best country, and you live in a free country. Yeah. You try to live yeah. in a communist country and mm. see how much freedom you have. Yeah. Oh. So you can still say thank you. Yes. Amen. So Amen. praise God. So yeah, let us remember today a man named Jesus who took our sins upon himself and Amen. died in, a, in our place at yes. the cross. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And in closing. Amen. Hopefully <laughs> Ryan's coming up. Ryan's coming up, okay. To say something. Okay. Ryan's coming up to say something. In closing. You might, you might want it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Church, millions of men and women have given their lives to guarantee our uh -huh. freedom as Americans. Yes. Amen. This is where it includes everybody. They gave their all so that we might enjoy all the blessings of this uh -huh. great land. But they will honor them. For the sacrifice. Thank you, yes. God, for everyone, every one of them. And reminder, every day is a memorial day. Why? <clears throat> one day, heaven's greatest soldier, Jesus, came to this earth and died to give us eternal freedom from the penalty and power of sin. So thank you, Father, for this remarkable, unspeakable gift. Jesus Christ says, For God so loved the world that he gave mm -hmm. his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting Hallelujah. life. Amen. May we never forget who Jesus is, what he's done for us, yes. where he has taken us from someday. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> family, friend, if you've never met him, now's the time to meet him. Amen. <laughs> Are you in sin? <laughs> Time to get out. Mm -hmm. Confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen.
If you have it, then I invite you to receive it. Amen. Amen. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. I'm going to leave it at that. Glory to Dios. Praise God. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, our greatest soldier, mm. um, our greatest sacrifice, mm -hmm. now is the time. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Mm -hmm. I invite you to come be my Lord and Savior. And he will. He never turns nobody down. Yes. All I have to do, you know, in the military, we learn how to do this real well about face. Yes. You may be going the wrong way. But it's time to make an about face, just yes. like the prodigal son that says, you know, I can always come back to Father's house. Amen. And you know what? He'll receive you with open arms. Yes. Amen. When he went to the cross, he opened his arms. Yes. <laughs> and he's there to receive you. Amen. Amen. But the Bible says he rose and he went to heaven. And yes. he's seated at the right hand of God. Yes. A place of authority. Amen. Amen. So, confess him. Say, Lord, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Find you a church where you can go and start learning the yeah. word of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Reading his word. Yes. Studying to show yourself approved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And start growing in the things of God. All these things we've said, this handout that I gave, this is what he has for you. You are blessed. You are chosen. You are adopted. You are accepted. You are redeemed. And you are forgiven. Amen. Amen. Know these things. And start Amen. walking with him. Amen. Glory to Dios. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So Thank praise you, God. If you heard it right now, I'll just pray, Lord, that by Jesus Christ you here from the crown of his head to the yes. soles of his feet. Mm -hmm. So, Father, I just thank you, all those that are uh, watching, all those that are listening to my voice right yes. now, I speak the healing powers of Jesus to just overtake yes. them, Father God. From thank the you, crown Lord. of his head to the soles of his feet, you will be healed in Jesus' Amen. name. Sickness, you have a name, you'll bow to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I command you to go right now. Yes. And Lord, I just Amen. release healing powers. Yes. The healing thank you, Lord. Powers. They'll overtake them right now, Father, in Jesus' yes. name. Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Get a microphone for Ryan. Ryan coming up. Mm -hmm. well, well, Ryan's coming up. Bless you. Let the camera yes. roll. Let the camera roll. Thank you. As most of you know, I was posted down this last week, but if I call on the That's enemy, all right. didn't get a chance. And didn't get today, but God has been impressing on me for quite a while that there's people out there who are hurting. Yes. And a lot of times we can't see it on the outside, but on the inside they're hurting. Yes. And they don't know what to do. I, I've ran on people on the ambulance who tried to commit suicide because no one loved them, you know. They, I've prayed to God and He didn't answer me and you know and stuff. But I love this. The pastor is walking all over my sermon. <laughs> but you know, the, it all comes together because God had this in mind. Yes. Today, that God loves Hallelujah. us. Yeah. You know, I had several scriptures, but the main one was John 3.16. How many know that one? Yes. Amen. You know, our pastor has told us in the past to make scripture personal. Yes. I want us all to quote John 3 16, but where it says, For God so loved the world, I want you to put your name in there. Amen. Praise God. For God so loved me, Ryan, that he gave his only gave his only begotten son. But I want you to think about that. When you think of gave, that does not come close to experience. Expressing what <coughs> Jesus went through for our salvation. That's right. So when we think about God gave His Son, think about what He went through. Yes. Pastor alluded to you know, being beaten so bad he couldn't even be recognized. That's right. For you and for me. Yeah. And if you were the only one, if I was the only one, mm. He'd have done it still. Yes. There's nothing that we have done that's so bad, so horrible, so wretched that we can't be forgiven. That's right. You know, you think of the lady caught in adultery. What do you say? I don't condemn you. I don't, you know, I forgive you. Go and sin no more. That's right. You know, one of his disciples 
Work for the IRS, the tax collector. You know, they are the most despicable people. They're stealing from them. And them. Jesus, you know, follow me. Uh, you know, and and Paul, he was a murderer. He was killing oh, Christians. But Jesus made him one of the greatest apostles. He wrote most of the New Testament. Amen. So there's nothing that he had done that was so bad, so horrible, so unforgivable That's right. that Jesus won't race down to where you are and pick you up and clean you up and make you new, make you whole if you will just ask him. That's right. But that's the thing. I've had people say, you know, I've prayed to God, I've prayed to God, you know, and of course they use other words, mm -hmm. but, you know, and he didn't answer me, he didn't answer me, he didn't answer me. The only prayer that Jesus and God are going to answer you, if you're not a Christian, is one of forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Well, no, not the only one, but the, the main one. Mm -hmm. Because you're his child if you yes. are asking. If a pastor's children came to me and said, I need this, I want this. I'm not obligated mm -hmm. to fulfill that request. That's right. But as my children come to me, mm -hmm. and it's something that is good for them, beneficial for them, I'll do my best to supply that need. Mm -hmm. But God, in His infinite wisdom, knows what's right for us. Mm -hmm. So when we... Pray and pray and pray for things. We're not his children. We've never accepted him as Lord and Savior. We're not his children. Mm -hmm. Boy, we're his child. Yes. When we accept him as Lord and Savior, we are a brand new person. Amen. Bible says we're new, new yes. creation. All you things are made new. Yes. Hallelujah. There is no sin in our life anymore at that moment. You know, in the Bible, yeah, you know, in Romans, it talks about, you know, can we stay by grace? Can we go back in sin? And Paul says, God forbid. That's right. You know, no, no, no. You don't go back into sin just because there's grace. That's right. So whatever you've done, whatever you've thought, whatever you your life experience, mm -hmm. just remember, for God so loved you yes. that he sacrificed his son yes. for you. Yes, he did. But you have eternal life if you accept it. Amen. The Bible says we are no longer under, we're not under condemnation anymore. Right. Once you accept Jesus Christ, we're not right. condemned. That's right. The lady told you, says, you know, where are those who condemn you? Says, mm -hmm. There aren't any. Well, neither do I. Go and sin no more. Amen. Amen. Jesus wants us to live sin free. But we still live in this earthly body. Mm -hmm. You know what? The sin is, you know, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. All sin can be categorized, categorized in one of those three things. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're having problem with, whatever is making you, you know, doubt or you have problems with your salvation, you know, if we don't keep filled with the Word of God, something else is going to fill us. Yes. And that's sin. That's right. So let's keep... Keep, keep, keep on pressing on with the Word of God. Amen. Let us hide His Word in our heart that we won't sin against Him, but then don't hide it there and just share it. Amen. So, that's all I'm going to say. There's, there's more to say later on. But right now, just remember, no matter what you've done, Jesus loves you. Amen. More than you can ever imagine. Amen. 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 Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. Mm. Praise God. Thank you, Spirit. He loves you. He loves you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Ryan. Oh, praise Good. God. Good.